Few caves on Earth are more fascinating than Devil's Den in Williston, Florida. Many photographers and videographers have described it as the most beautiful cave in the world, but it's not just the natural scenery that makes this cave mysterious and intriguing. It's also the fact that multiple people have died there, sometimes under mysterious circumstances. Let's explore this tragic story. In 1990, Devil's Den, a newly purchased and renovated diving site, experienced its first reported fatality. Details of the incident are scarce, with only a few records, including an unpublished newspaper article, shedding light on the horrifying event. The incident occurred on Sunday, October 7, 1990, and involved three scuba divers identified only by their initials, CP, KK, and CM. While little is known about their identities beyond being diving enthusiasts, clues suggest that CP was the most experienced and the leader of the group. CP had previously visited the site just two weeks prior and was rescue certified, albeit only for open water and not for caves or caverns. In a curious detail, CP was the only diver who chose to bring an additional set of air tanks, which raises questions about the circumstances leading to the tragic outcome at Devil's Den. When the group arrived at the cave around noon, they eagerly embarked on a dive together. From what we know, the dive seemed to have gone smoothly and it likely lasted a considerable amount of time based on the timeline. Scuba tanks can last well over an hour depending on the depth of the dive. Given the Devil's Den is known for its breathtaking underwater rock formations, it's understandable that the group may have taken their time exploring the vast cave. With depths reaching 50 feet and widths expanding to 200 feet, the underwater space offers a plethora of different rock formations to behold. There are wide underground caverns to marvel at, as well as narrow swim-throughs that require divers to squeeze through one at a time. It's easy to imagine how groups could easily become separated in this maze of natural wonders. In addition to the stunning rock formations, Devil's Den is also home to an array of fish and turtles who have found refuge in its once-trashed waters. The three divers would have witnessed an awe-inspiring scene during their thorough exploration underwater. After resurfacing and removing their masks, they likely regrouped, excitedly discussing their experiences. It was sometime between 1 and 2 p.m., and they may have taken a short break to enjoy lunch together in the scenic natural surroundings. Despite not knowing their identities, one can easily imagine the familiar sight of three friends indulging in their passion, preparing to venture back into the cave. The tranquility of the moment is poignant, considering the tragic events that were about to unfold. At 2.15 p.m., CP, an experienced diver who had brought extra air tanks, made the decision to return to the cave for another dive, leaving behind their friends KK and CM who had no air tanks left. CP waved goodbye and descended into the water with their mask on, never to be seen alive again. It is likely that KK and CM grew worried after a while since their previous dive was long and scuba dives usually take at least half an hour. They eventually called 911, but unfortunately, they were unable to search for their friend themselves due to the lack of air tanks. When rescue crews arrived, things looked grim as CP was still missing. Searching the underwater world of Fountain Devil's Den is a challenging and time-consuming process, and it may have taken hours, especially considering where CP was eventually found, at the very bottom of the pool, having made contact with the silt on the cave's floor. The prevalent theory suggests that CP's vision was obscured, leading CP to become disoriented and trapped in a narrow passage known as the bed plane. This passage, described as only two feet high, was even narrower with scuba gear on. Disturbingly, clawing marks were found in the bed plane where CP was discovered. Unfortunately, there's limited information available about the individuals involved, which makes it challenging to understand the full story and the aftermath of this tragic event. However, this incident marked a significant shift in the perception of the infamous scuba site, which was relatively new to the public at the time. Presently, a warning sign inside Devil's Den is prominently displayed with a striking image of the Grim Reaper wielding a skiff. The sign chillingly reveals that over 300 divers have lost their lives in similar caves, cautioning that it could happen to anyone. It emphatically states that there is nothing in the cave worth risking one's life for, sending shivers down one's spine. As incredible as Devil's Den may be, it is not worth taking any risks or exceeding one's qualifications. It's horrifying to think that someone's life could suddenly come to an end in such a wondrous and memorable place among friends, as was the case with KK, CM, and CP. While we may never know exactly what happened with CP, their story serves as a reminder of the dangers of exploring unfamiliar environments like Devil's Den. 
If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons as well as the bell icon to be notified when we post another bizarre incident.